Hello everyone, this is Sarika Shrivastava on the topic phylogenetics. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the phylogenetics, its concepts, homology, homoplasy and all these things. Today we are going to discuss about different types of phylogenetic trees. Phylogenetics part 2 The concept of evolutionary tree so evolutionary tree is a two dimensional graph which shows us evolutionary re relationship between organisms or genes from different organisms. Each sequence is referred to as a taxa and is defined as a phylogenetically distinct unit. These taxa lie as outer branches that is leaves of a tree while the internal nodes and branches represent relationship between taxa. Here the point to be noted is that closely related taxa are found in neighboring branches. The branch length indicates the number of mutations that is a measure of evolutionary time before the next level of separation. The node represents the splitting of evolutionary path of the gene into two different species that are reproductively isolated. So this is the basic structure of a phylogenetic tree. Here we can see this is a species F is representing a root. This is branch. This is a node where two different branches are bifurcating. And these all these species A, B, C, D and E are the leaves that is different taxa. The distance, the branch length is this one. So the on the distance scale, uh, the distance scale is given as 0.1 here. So the distance scale is the one which represents the number of differences between the sequence. That is, 0.1 means 10% different between differences between two sequences. If you find, if you want to calculate difference between distance between two different species. For example, if you want to calculate distance between species A and species B, then we will simply join the branch length that is AA and BB. Here we can see that the root is a common ancestor to all the taxa. Now let's see the possible ways of dra drawing a tree. On the basis of a scale, we on the basis of a scale two types of trees can be drawn that is unscaled or scaled and on the basis of root also two types of trees can be drawn that is rooted trees or unrooted trees so in in the unscaled trees the the length is not proportional to the number of changes sometimes the changes are indicated on the branches with numbers the nodes represent the divergence event on a time scale in scaled branches, the length of the branch is proportional to the number of changes. The distance between two species is the sum of the length of the branches connecting them. And while on the basis of root, rooted trees are with a root and the unrooted trees are without the presence of a root. So finally, with the help of these two bases, there are four different types of trees which can be constructed. They are rooted scale trees, rooted unscaled trees, unrooted scale trees and unrooted unscaled trees. Now let's see the unrooted scale trees. Un sorry, unroo unrooted unscaled trees. So in, in unscaled trees, as we can see here, all the leaves, that is all the taxa are uh, coming to a single point only on the time scale that is they are ending up at a single point on the time scale that means the divergence from the root is same the distance from the root is same it means that all these species have evolved equally so from this graph we cannot find that which species has evolved more or which species has evolved less uh, since we see the presence of root, that is why it is called as rooted trees. It can be drawn with two different, 
diff with two different types as you can see here this is a graph of rooted scale trees here we can see that on the time scale all the species are coming to different points that is all these species are evolving at a different rate all of them have a different rate of evolution so that is why they are not coming equally on the time scale it can also be drawn drawn in two different ways as we can see here now in unrooted trees here we can see two types of unrooted trees unrooted trees with scaled branches and unrooted trees with unscaled branches in case of scaled branches we can see that all these branches have different lengths as you can see here but in un unrooted tree with unscaled branches we can see that all these branches like you can see from this point to this point from this point to this point we can see that the length is same from the here to this point here to this point from here to this point here to this point and here to this point we can see that the length is same so this is the concept of unrooted trees thank you